In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about using the headphone and control room output on the Behringer Xenex audio mixer. One important thing that a lot of people don't know is that you're not just limited to connecting studio monitors to your control room output. You can use this output like an auxiliary output, but you get a whole bunch more advanced routing options on the Behringer Xenex audio mixer. First of all, if you are looking for pricing or specs for anything you see in this video, we do have links down in the description where you can find everything that you see here from a variety of online retailers to make sure that you are getting the best price possible. Now, just as a quick review on the Behringer Xenix audio mixer, on the back of this audio mixer, you do have three different outputs. You have the main stereo mix, you have the Alt 3-4. The Alt 3-4 is a bus that's fed from all your muted channels. So if you mute a channel from the main mix, it will automatically go to the Alt 3-4. Next to that, we have the control room outputs. The control room outputs don't just have to be connected to studio monitors. You can use this as an auxiliary output, and we're going to show you how to do all kinds of different routing options for that. Then, of course, you do have the headphone output as well. The headphone output is linked to the control room output. So the level that you set with this, right here is where you find the level knob, for this, it will be linked so your headphones will turn up or down as you turn up your control room output up or down as well. Okay, so how do we control what goes to the control room output? You can do it right here. You'll find this box in the middle with an arrow to the volume knob for the control room and headphone output, and here's where you can select your three routing options. Now it's super important to note here that you're not just limited to doing one at a time. You can mix and match any of these three options. So you can pull from your two track RCA inputs up at the top of the audio mixer if you want. You can turn on your Alt 3 4. So if you want to listen to all your muted channels at the same time, or if you're doing something funky with the routing of those, you can do that. And you can turn on your main mix. Now you can have all these on at the same time. So if you just want to monitor all your inputs at once, you can do that. So this could work really well if you want to send all your microphones to one source. You can connect that source to your control room output, regardless of whether or not they're muted. Now there is an override to this. The one override for this is if you are on this PFL, the PFL or solo button here will override whatever you have in the routing options. If you have a track soloed or a group of inputs soloed here, that will determine what's going out through this output. So that's the one way that you can override your settings up in this area here. Now it is important to know that this area does override some typical settings on the audio mixer. Let me explain. So right here is our two track toggle button. What this button does is it will determine whether or not we are listening to the RCA inputs in the two track area or listening to the USB input or if we are sending audio out through the two track record and the USB record. Now, typically you can't listen to the RCA inputs at the same time that you are outputting the RCA outputs. This toggle switch makes sure that you either do one or the other. That being said, while you're recording with the RCA outputs or USB outputs on your audio mixer, you can route the inputs to this red button here and it can go to your control room. So this is the only way that you can bring audio in through the RCA and USB inputs into the audio mixer while you're recording on the USB output or RCA output. I hope this video answered your questions. If you do have any other questions about this audio mixer, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.